hi everybody, it's the Papa from the Papa's Kitchen back at you, and I've got a great little simple midweek meal for you. I, I really think that's where you and I, the viewer, sort of hit our stride really well. Um, for Susan and I, it's getting these meals done quickly, but really getting some flavor out of them, and, you know, sort of getting out of the mundane a little bit, and this is one of those meals. Back on the stove, I've got a big pot of water that's uh, getting ringing up to a boil. And I was uh, in the store the other day and bought some of these little golden uh, potatoes, these little fingerlings or whatever you did, you call them. And I've got them all washed and ready to go. Once that water gets up there, I'm gonna put a good amount of salt in the water. And then I'm gonna put these potatoes in, skin on, and let them boil about 15 minutes or whatever until they get real tender. It won't take long, 10, maybe 15 minutes. And what this is, I'm not a big potato fan, but when you get potatoes, I don't, you like them, Sue, don't you? you I, I mean, love potatoes. You love potatoes. Hold yeah. one up to my finger. Yeah, there you, that's the big one. There you go. There you go. They are fingerlings. They're fingerlings, yeah. <laughs> um, when you do potatoes, I, I'm just not a mashed potato fella, except I did one uh, a recipe for you with my little grandson, Eli, the other day. Um, a mashed potato for uh, for Thanksgiving, and that's good, you know, that's tradition. Baked potato, she loves them. If we're in a, in a restaurant, she'll make uh, get the baked potato. I'll go for the pasta every single time. I, plain pasta with a little salt, pepper, and oil on it will make me happy, and maybe, you know, really live on the edge, get some red pepper flakes, and we're, we're good to go. These I'm, I'm anxious to try. The other day, I came across a little hack and it's uh, with these fingerlings, it's called lemon, salty lemon uh, potatoes, I, I guess is for the lack of a better term. And I picked up- Salty a, lemon potatoes. Yeah, salty lemon potatoes. We're gonna try it, never have tried it before. But this is preserved lemons. And you can get this at your store. Sometimes I've seen them in the um, uh, like international section, you know, down the, that mm -hmm. aisle. Uh, in this case, I did actually order it. was seven bucks, I think, I'm on Amazon. I'm, I'm looking, but not showing. Oh, yeah. No, you got to look. <laughs> there you go. There's one. All you need right now is one, and these will preserve for a while. And I'm going to take it and actually take the top off there. They're just little lemons. Yeah, uh, it is. It's yeah, a isn't that lemon. something? And all I want to do is get the seeds out. Is it pickled? It's preserved, so it's in a brine of sorts. So it is pickled, mm. kind of. Yeah, it, it does, but here. Oh, okay. no, I got a cough drop in my mouth. Oh, yeah, it's what? got a little pickly taste to it. Yeah, so this ought to be good, and it actually has a little salt already to it, so this is gonna be good. Let me just get the, okay, and all I wanna do is I wanna cut these down. Let me get a little bit different knife here. Oh, here it is, my knife. And uh, I'm gonna put this in my little bowl. Don't You're not gonna heat this up or anything. This is just gonna be something you pull together here. And actually, Sue, I promised our neighbor, he's alone. He's a bachelor. He's a bachelor this weekend. So yeah. I told him, I said, look it, I'll bring over uh, our, a plate of food for you and this'll be one. So we'll see if he likes it. He likes something else I brought him the other day and uh, he and his wife. So yeah. if you live near me, you sort of get the advantage of um, <laughs> getting to try out all Especially the Especially the neighbors who like everything. Yeah, they'll eat anything. Not not that it's bad, I'm just saying. No, know. what I mean and is they're not, they're not picky. No, they're not picky, but they enjoy what I hope is good food. Here's a little yeah. seed, we don't want that in there. And I'm just really getting these broken down like this. I've never have ever played with these things. And I sort of like to try, I hope you do too, I like to try new things. And uh, again, I don't want the seeds in there, but here we go. And uh, this is what we're gonna try. So I'm putting just one of these cut up in this bowl. And I'm also going to add to that um, about, uh, the recipe calls for two tablespoons of the brine. So here we go. That's, I mean, this is what you're doing. One and two. I'll do a little bit more. I don't know about you, but I'm sort of like that with aspirin. If they say get two, I'll do three. Oh, I probably will get the, not It's good. not good. I know, I know I'm not a doctor, so. And then I'm going to do these uh, little uh, green onions, uh, thinly sliced. I'm gonna put these in here. Whoop. Whoop. We almost thinly sliced Yeah, well my knife sort of went backward. I don't know what, uh, and you should have your knuckles down there, you know uh -huh. that. 
Now if somebody's gonna give me a give me the what for over that, I've got to guarantee <laughs> that. They just look out for you. They're looking out for me, I know, I know. So anyhow, we're sort of when this video comes out, we're in the in-between time, between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And honestly, I'm always looking for something different. Uh, I get sort of tired of the old staples. And although this is a poultry dish that I'm going to do for you tonight, because we're going to cook some chicken thighs. And Susan, I thought I had just a couple packages of chicken thighs. And I wasn't paying attention and actually... Yes, one package six. was chicken legs. Oh, we're we're going to okay. use them, so it'll be fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is going to go in here. And listen, always, if you are going to do potatoes, I always like a little onion with my potatoes anyhow, and this is what that is. And then I'm going to do about, or hopefully about a cup here, of finely chopped uh, dill. Um, and uh, we're going to get this done too. I may have to actually go get a little bit more dill. Hello. Where would you get it? This I just bought at Publix. No, you said go get more. Oh, I've got more oh, I in the package you meant over go here. To the store. No, 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 I'm not going to the store. <laughs> I went ahead and bought. And again, I imagine you could use the uh, dry, but uh, even as I'm cutting this, you can smell the goodness of it. I do need some more. All right, and here's my dill, and I'm going to put that in there. This is sort of a crazy little recipe, but it's really sort of anxious to try. My water is boiling back there, so I'm going to drop my potatoes in, and I'm also going to actually go over there and add some salt to it. Is it warm enough here to wear shorts, huh? It is. <laughs> it is. Are you showing my legs again? Yes. So well, you know, you showed us to, your legs. To you folks. <laughs> and no shoes, And right? no shoes. Okay. And here's the last ingredient. Take <laughs> one stick of unsalted butter. I've got, I use Kerrygold. Um, boy, price has gone up on this. Price has gone up on everything. It's driving me crazy. And what I want you to do with the Kerrygold butter, I want, I'm going to just cut this right down the middle, probably quarter it as well. Here, come on, get off of there, butter. And uh, I'm going to chop this into the bowl in uh, for small pieces and just little sections. And when those potatoes get done, we're going to pour this mixture, this is going to get you, we're going to pour this mixture over uh, the potatoes and stir everything until all that butter and goodness is melted over the potatoes in the serving bowl or whatever we're going to use. And that is the recipe. I mean, that's how easy and how good this is going to be. So those potatoes are boiling and uh, getting uh, tender and we're going to make sure they are. And actually what I'm going to do when they get done, I'm going to take them out and I'm going to press them down a little bit and get them, we're going to just stir this around a little bit so we get all that goodness now working its way into a saturation level or whatever. Okay, that's good. We're going to put that to the side and we'll come back on that. Uh, once those potatoes are done, I'm going to take them out and on my serving bowl or whatever, I'm just going to take the back of my hand or a small cup or something, bowl maybe, and I'm going to smash them down. I don't want to break them up into pieces or anything like that. Just smash them down so that they pop open, if you would. And then we're going to put this and we're going to stir it mm, and it's done. It's just that right. simple. Well, doesn't that sound good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I saw this recipe, I thought, man, that is something I've got to try. Now, while that's happening, I'm going to get my... Um, world started up here on the skillet and I've got my cast iron here and I'm going to turn that thing on and uh, sorry about the noise and what I'm going to do is get my chicken pieces all um, uh, salt and peppered and I'm going to put a little paprika on them and uh, and we're going to cook them so, and so that's all it's going to be. So here we go. And I know I'm using my fingers and some of you are going to get upset with that, but that's just life, life, life. I'm, her and I are the only one, well, my neighbor, <laughs> but my hands are clean. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. And uh, let's, uh, while I'm still doing these, let's turn these over. Turn this one over. Two different hands, if you notice. Just so <laughs> some of you <coughs> are wondering. Turn this one over. And I like the bottom. And by the way, what I do to make sure that these thighs go a little faster, I slice along the bone. 
<coughs> on the back side. Oh yeah, we've Remember? done it where we done that where I haven't it. done it, and that's time I did it. In fact, our neighbors were here that night. Yeah, I remember that. We had <laughs> a little bit. You have to be bit, sure and tell him. A little bit, yeah. I will, I will say, hey, there's no blood this time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And then I want to do <clears throat> with pepper. And I want to do some paprika on it. And that's that. And what I'm going to do is put some of my olive oil in here like that and when that starts to smoke just a little bit we're gonna put these on I've got my heat on medium uh, on this cast iron and um, it's gonna cook pretty well we'll cook them uh, both sides until I get my thermometer out we see how much uh, we're gonna see uh, make sure we got about 165 170 on the temperature but we're a little ways away from that so that's how we're gonna do things here I'll be right back at you once we get these things into the frying pan and get them up and uh, getting roasted here. Okay. All right, a little paprika has gone, gone on there. And what I'm doing is I put the uh, chicken thighs and the drumsticks in, skin down. On the drum, you can't tell as much, but it's skin down. We'll start that way. And then we'll let them just cook like that for a while. Uh, and once they're ready on that side, I'll turn them over and usually you know they're ready when they release from the bottom of the um, pan. So we'll just let them cook. They're not going to do anything in that oil, but enjoy the rest of their short lives. <laughs> all right. Okay, I got my potatoes out. They're nice and uh, soft. And all I'm doing, I'm coming along, look at, just popping them a little bit. Oh, yeah. See what I'm saying? Take, I've got a little mason jar here and just knocking them down. Just opens them up for more adventure. <laughs> and what I'm going to do, it's just this simple. This is why I love this kind of recipe. They're going in. Um, they're going in my uh, serving bowl here, just like this. Knock them in there. There we go. Come on, boys. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa, whoa. Lost one. Oh man. Mm, sorry. Sorry. And look at all I'm going to do, I'm going to take that concoction of lemon and butter and, and uh, uh, scallion and, uh, and dill, and we're going to put that in there like this, it melts all and it over. melts all in there. You got it. And honestly, all I do is just stir it around here, and if they open up, no problem, honestly. I actually want to... Um, a bigger spoon here maybe to get it melted but that's all you're after just get up underneath there turn them over and get that all melted in there and then we're going to taste for uh, salt and uh, some pepper perhaps and then we're going to be done in fact I may have made these a little too uh, uh, soft but it's okay so I'm going to let those just melt in that good, good butter with all that heat. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm telling you, you're going to like that too. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. And we'll let that go for a little bit. My chicken's still cooking and doing nice. Those oh, will stay hot for a while too. That's good. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And uh, in fact, let me just check here how these folks are doing. They look like they're doing just fine. I keep turning them over. They're really thick. These, I, I don't know where I bought these. Maybe Sam's, but man, these, all of them are. You bought a whole bunch of that. I remember that, yeah. And um, I've still got some in there, I noticed, in the freezer. Yeah, they're coming along. So let's, let's take a little temperature check, shall we? Yeah. And they're about 130, so they got to come up a little bit more. 140 there. It's a biggie here. Look at that bad boy. That's going to take a while. That's a little 125. That'll take a few moments. 130, 136 right here. But you they're still coming. So on the bone too. Oh, I might have should have. Yeah. 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 It's coming. We're going to give it some more time here. It'll be fine. Get back to you in just a few moments. It's really seems like a long time to me, but it's going really quick. Yeah. It's a simple <laughs> meal. I love it. Uh, in the meantime, while that's cooking, what I'd like you to do is get out one shallot, 
one of those right there, little onion shallot. And um, we want to chop that down pretty fine. And we're going to get that peeling off and get this ready to go. And we want to do about two, uh, maybe three cloves of garlic that we're going to mince. I also have here a quarter a cup of some chicken broth, a uh, quarter cup of chicken broth. I've got some more green onions that I'm going to use. And then we're going to also um, put a little horseradish in. And we're going to put, and I always have this around uh, of some sort, but I'm going to put in a cup of uh, apricot preserves. Oh. And what we're going to do is uh, once that chicken is cooked here in just a few moments, both sides, I'm going to pull it out, put it on the plate. I leave the drippings from this cooking in there, and I'm going to add these other ingredients. First, the onion, the shallot, rather, and the um, and the um, garlic, and we'll stir fry that a little bit and get those cooked. And then we'll add the rest and stir it around and get it all sort of looking good. I'll show it to you. And then uh, from there, we are going to um, add the chicken back in and dinner served. That's how quick this happens. It just is really nice. So all I'm doing is getting my shallot sort of diced down here. I love this uh, little vegetable. It, it, it's um, it's so versatile, I actually find myself using it in a lot of different recipes. And um, it's not nearly as strong as an onion, but it gives you a nice flavor of onion of sorts, and I just really enjoy it. So I want that little pretty chopped down pretty fine. And uh, that'll be great. That's a notice that my potatoes may be done, but I think it's a little premature to be perfectly honest with you. But let me check, and before we do that, let's just see how all this is going. And yeah, this is going great. So we're going to turn those over, get those going. It looks burnt, but it's not. It's that paprika. Uh, Alexa, please, enough is enough. Come on. Alexa, off. I guess you got to get really rude with the woman. <laughs> All righty, got those cooked for a bit. Let's try the potatoes. And with my potatoes, all I want to do is see if they're really, really nice and tender. Yeah, a little bit more to go. A little bit more. Well, let's just set a timer for three minutes. And by the way, with this, if you need to add a little bit more oil, do it. Don't, don't worry about it. Nothing's gonna. And sometimes I'll just put a little bit more on the bottom so that nothing's getting too weird on us. There we go. I had to use, I had so much chicken I didn't realize I had to use my bigger uh, I, uh, cast iron and I don't actually like it on this induction plate but it's what it is. So. And I'm going to also cut these actually now that I'm thinking about it because they, I need these in a little bit. So we'll keep cooking here and we'll come back to you in just a sec. Okay, I pulled my chicken off and they're not totally where they, I want them to be on the temperature, but that's all right. What we're going to do is we're going to cook our um, onion and our garlic. This is not the right tool to use for that. Where is my scraper thing? Oh, here it is. Uh, we're going to uh, cook the um, onion and we're going to cook the garlic for about a minute or so in here. Let me get my minster. It makes life so much easier. Oh, I thought you did them whole. No, not these. Mm -hmm. well, let's just do one more here. And you want to just stir that around a little bit. And we leave those drippings are all what you want in there. Leave that in there and those are actually going to come up and make part of the sauce here a little bit. Now what I'm wanting to do as those cook, and I don't want those to get too brown, the garlic, I keep an eye on it, because then it's got a burn flavor, and I just don't want that. I'm going to add a quarter cup of my broth, like that. I'm going to add two tablespoons, this is wonderful, of one of my favorite condiments, some horseradish. Whoa, two tablespoons. Yeah. 
And then on top of that, I am going to add a half a cup. If I can open it. <laughs> I didn't open it beforehand. Uh -oh. oh, there we go. A half a cup of uh, the apricot preserves. And that's probably a little bit more than a half a cup, but I like that. It's gonna taste so good. And see how all that goodness comes off the bottom. And then what we're going to do in a short little bit, we're going to add back in our um, chicken in this, and we're going to let that cook some more in this broth. And I'm going to cover it for a few moments until it gets to the temperature of about 170, even 175 if you want with the thighs, not a problem at all. And that is just going to be good. I'll probably add a little more broth. To what now? Add a little more broth. For a little uh, more yeah, sauce. I could add a little bit more broth. Yeah. For a little more sauce. Yeah. Yeah. So right about half there. Get that in there like that as well. Oh. Off we go to the races here. Ooh. Over time, I think is all this is. You just start. I like you've done for years, Susan. I certainly didn't cook. <laughs> but you just you know. Well, this is going to be this and do no, this no. and. Most people yeah, do it that I way. I didn't like recipes. Like no, you didn't. I but, remember. But I you taught you you make good stuff. Well, I change things all the time. Yeah. There. Oh man, that's gonna be good. So there we go. So now, what I want to do, I want to put my chicken back in there. You're a much Actually, better cook a nice than me. Big old lid here that we're gonna put on top. Did you of hear it. me? I didn't hear You're you. You're a much better cook than me. No, I'm not either. Yeah, you are. Oh. It's because you try really great different things. things. I think back when I cooked, mm -hmm. there weren't this many wonderful things to try. Yeah. It was Grandma's recipes. Oh, that was I know. About but it. Grandma does good stuff. Right? Down home cooking. I know. But Grandma knows how to cook. She mm -hmm. sure does. I'm going to let that just That's sit the on there like that. That's the biggest one you got. Huh? I think so. Well, I think you got a bigger one. Maybe, but I don't know where it's at, so okay. this will work. <laughs> All right, I'm uh, pulling them off. Uh, some of these are done. I'm up into the 165 to 170, even 175 on the mark. This particular thigh and that particular leg need just a little bit more time. I don't know what their deal is here, but we're going to give them a little bit more. But oh my goodness, this does look good. And since I can't wait, I, I just have a little piece of meat here and I want to see. Oh yeah, hmm. Is it tasty? Oh yeah. Good. You're gonna like it. It's nothing overwhelming or anything. I thought it might be with all with that horse you know, but it didn't go up. Mm -mm. Good. Yeah. Those will be good. They're very, very good. They look good. Oh, I think they are. The sauce looks really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Sauce is looking really good. And what I want to do is just spoon some of this sauce up on here. Baste these little boogers. In some countries. I don't know if you want to say that word. Oh, well, sorry. Yeah, not, didn't mean to do it on purpose. No, and honestly, I'm just, <laughs> I'm an American. That's like, um, I heard today uh, on a video, well, Sarah was actually telling me that the one word shag means something totally different in England. Yeah, and what does it mean in, in Swahili? Well, it means uh, like your, your homeland. Your homestead, like right. the farm kind of thing. Right. Go out to the shag, or yeah, I think that's how they would say it. Somebody said, and it's like, somebody what goes, is that? Well, yeah. That would be really funny if you named it that. I know <laughs> it. Yeah, I right. Know. Yeah. A lot of comments. Yeah. There well, we go. You don't want that, I'll tell you. Oh, here we go. I'm looking for this. Just 155. One yeah, just crazy. I'm not going to worry about him. I'm going to pull this mm -hmm. off and we're going to let that just sit there and cook. And listen, let me do this. This is so good. I bet you could turn it off and it cook. I think it, it would, yeah. Is that pan? Oh, I, in fact, I have turned the thing off, yeah. So let me do this. Mm. Let's pull some of this juice and just get this all nice and coated. And actually, this is just for you and me. For well, and for our, and for our neighbor. Yeah, that looks good, Susan. Oh my mm. goodness sake! I'll tell you. Oh, and listen, listen. Here's what you do. You sort of put a little bit of this on, and that is picture perfect, as we would say. It is. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now, watch. I'm going to make up a plate for our neighbor. So on goes the potatoes. 
Did you have to add a little more salt to those? No, I didn't, but oh. I think I'll tell him, you know, add salt as you feel, you know, right. lead <laughs> kind of thing. And then I'm going to give him this thigh, and I think I'll give him a um, drumstick too, do you think? Sure. I think I will. He's a good guy. Probably like that. He would like that. And there, look at there. That's a beautiful plate. Wow. Nice. Wow. I love it. I love it. In fact, I think leg for you, babe. Here we go. And uh, okay. let me uh, now give you the potatoes for you. Your favorite potatoes. Yes. Nicely done. 30 minute meal, folks. That's it right there. Is that all it took? That's all it took when you wow. add it all up. 30 minutes. Pretty good. Yeah. Little prep work ahead of time and you got this thing made. Hey, anyhow, there it is. Uh, let me pose for, this is it. Is this it? <laughs> That's it right there. Okay. And uh, go ahead, make it up. It's an easy meal. I'll have the recipes down in the description box. It's like I said, it's economical. It's just an easy deal. The only odd deal you're going to have to um, maybe get for yourself, but hey, what, what, you need to uh, live a little. What did I do with that? Um, uh, the lemon preserves. I don't know. I, I've done oh, something. Oh, it's sitting with over it. there on the. Oh counter. yeah, there it is. You might need to look in your international section, get some of this. It's I've never used it before, but hey, I'll look for other recipes that do use it and in these potatoes, it went really, really good. So what the world? All right, see you later. All right, it's a little recap for you. Number one, I took the plate over to my uh, neighbor. He was waiting patiently. He said, oh, hey man, he said, I could smell it. I'm going nuts, so I gave it to him. I come back in the house. I can't believe it. The house smells beautiful. So it was a good good meal to put together. The, the potatoes were outstanding. Uh, but I, I will tell you this, they needed just a little bit more salt. And so salt is really subjective, but a, a little bit more salt. But what was fun was biting into those little lemon pieces and it has this nice touch of sour and, and with the potato, it was just great. I really enjoyed it. The meat was great. And by the way, I didn't kill anybody this time. There was no blood uh, anywhere dripping off of bones or anything like that. Everything was done. And I left this one more shot to show you. You can tell which one of us is a, a, either one. This is a drumstick. This is a thigh. This is Susan. Susan can clean a bone like nobody I've ever known. This is mine. That is done. I'm not doing. I'm not going back to that at all. That I did. I took, picked it up, and did what I needed Why would to you do. Why ever leave that nope. much meat? There's not a not. There's that's all gristle, babe. That's all. That is. <laughs> so anyhow, hey, this is a good meal. Highly recommend it. Uh, get it. Uh, the recipes. Make it easy, easy peasy, and very tasty. Thanks. See you later.